Bingo, hello. Hello. Uh, when and where did you start playing basketball? Um, I started in Wichita Falls, Texas. Uh, I was eight years old when I started playing. Uh, my dad, he would always try to get me to play before, but I would, I would always want to play baseball. And like, he would always tell my mom, like, hey, I want him to play basketball. And she was like, you can't force him to play. And then one day I went out to the Y, like the little gym with my dad, and he was playing. I was like, daddy, I want to do that. <laughs> and then ever since then, I've been playing since eight years old. And later, you have played in Belgium for many years. Um, does this experience help you uh, now in Ver Vibre Pasteur? Uh, yeah, you know, I, this is my third year playing in Belgium. So, like, uh, I know the league a little bit. You know, I know players, know coaches, and know how the league is. So that helps me out, you know, a lot being familiar with the league. And I think that's a good fit for me, knowing the league, and it's a good league. And according to you, what are the qualities for a power forward to be successful? Uh, there's different, you know, qu qualities. You know, I think, like, it depends on what kind of player you are. Like, for me, uh, most of my game is, you know, shooting. You know, I'm pretty a, a good shooter and a good rebounder. And I think, you know, you have to have that quality and be physically strong and be able to, you know, be vocal, talkative, and, you know, athletic. And, uh, you know, just able to know the game, you know, as far as like in the post, when to post up, when to pass, when to shoot. I think you got to have all those qualities to play as a power forward. Mm -hmm. And does the fact to play for an American head coach uh, make you feel more comfortable here? Yeah, it does. You know, it's easier, you know, uh, I think like, you know, because he speaks my language. So it's like easier to, you know, understand when he's trying to break stuff down. Whereas in if you're playing for maybe a French coach or Dutch or, you know, another coach of a nationality, it might be kind of difficult when they're trying to break stuff down, you know, for the most part, because sometimes you might not understand what they're trying to say or they might not understand you, you know, at the same time when you're trying to explain something. So it definitely benefits, you know, me as an American player to play for an American coach. Mm -hmm. And what would you wish the team for 2012? Uh, definitely to, you know, get more wins. You know, I think uh, we had a little bit of misfortune in 2011. Uh, you know, the effort was there, you know, for the most part. We was learning each other. But I think uh, in 2012, uh, it'll be a lot better for us. You know, during this off the break that we had, we've been playing a lot, working a lot, trying to get better, trying to figure out what we need to do. And I think now that we have a core of 12 players, you know, a steady team, I think that'll help us out a lot, and I think we'll do better, a lot better in the second half. That's exactly what I wish for. Mm -hmm. uh, you had a short break in uh, the USA. Did you have fun over there? Uh, did you spend the time with your family? Yeah, that's matter of fact, that's all I did. I, I spent the time with like most of my family, uh, seeing my best friend, and uh, I was able to see my uh, little sister. She's playing in college right now, so I was able to see one of her games, and uh, it was a good time just to spend with the family, get a little short break, a little refresher, and uh, now back here ready to re-up for 2012. And um, what do you do when you're not at the gym? Most of the time, I'm just, I'm an internet, I'm on the internet a lot. Uh, I play a lot of video games, uh, mainly like 2K12. I'm always playing that, and then uh, with, you know, TJ, me and him play the game a lot, or on the internet, I'm talking to the family. That's pretty much, I'm just in the house most of the time. I don't go out too much, <laughs> so. Uh, you're always smiling, you always seem to be in a good mood. Uh, what makes you feel so happy? Uh, For one, I think like just the smiling thing is just, it's hereditary. Like my dad, he's always smiling. My granddad, he was always smiling. So I think that's just one of the, you know, characteristics I got from my family. And then like, for me, I just like to have fun. You know, I like to, in life, on the court, you know, with people. So like, that's why I'm, I'm always in a good mood. Rarely am I in a bad mood, you know? So, I mean, like it's normal. Sometimes I might be in a bad mood, but most of the time I'm always happy in a good mood. Uh, I think you like music. Uh, you play drum, is it true? Yeah, I play the drums. Uh, I grew up in the church, so I grew up around music. My dad, you know, he had us growing up in the church doing all that stuff. So uh, my family is kind of, you know, musically inclined. So it's kind of just normal for me to just, you know, beat on the drums or, you know, just keep a beat in my head or something. And you can sing? Uh, I joke around singing. I don't really just sing like that. Just for play, I sing, but not for real, though. You will not sing for us. No, no, I ain't gonna sing for y'all, no. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, have you learned a few words in French? Uh, my, my French was, it was a little better before, but now it's kind of like, you know, I know uh, merci, bonjour, uh, la décision, s'il vous plaît. <laughs> That's pretty much it, you know. My French is not that good, you know. Your English is better than my French. <laughs> <laughs> And you would like to learn? Maybe. I don't know, you know. Like, uh, I have to have a good teacher, you know, because I have to, you know, really see the task or the, you know, text. So it might be kind of hard to teach me French. French, it's not easy to learn, so. It's not, it's not. You know, I think it takes a long time to learn that. But at the same time, you know, I think a lot of French people feel the same about English. Like, it's, it's hard to learn English. So, you know, it's, it's the best of both worlds. You know, one person thinks one thing and the other person thinks another one. So it balances out. Uh, do, you have, do you have any nickname? A new nickname? Oh, uh, a nickname? Oh. Well, everybody calls me B.I. Uh, when I was in school at uh, TCU, uh, you know, it's a song. I know y'all probably know the song, B-I-N-G-O. Everybody used to sing that. But I had, like, two teammates on my team. They would always sing the song, but they would always just stop at the I. They'd always be like, what's up, B-I? And it was catchy. And so everybody started calling me B.I. But uh, in 2012, my new nickname is uh, Dirk with the Clock Ticking or uh, Black Dirk. That's my new nickname for 2012. Okay. <laughs> And finally, what would you like to say to the fans? Uh, first of all, I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas uh, and hope you a net happy new year to come. And uh, I definitely appreciate the support that y'all give us. You know, we hear y'all out there, you know, screaming, pulling for us, and it, it will not go unappreciative. We definitely appreciate y'all. And uh, 2012 definitely will be a better year. Uh, the team will, you know, work even harder, to, you know, to get more wins in 2012. And uh, you'll definitely appreciate it. Thank you.